This is a Quan Chang UVK5. Now, I have a UVK6 right here, and I'm probably going to do a separate video on that one, but I'm told the K5 is a better radio, or at least offers you more features than the K6. I'm going to show you some of those features today, and we're going to put it on the Tiny SA and see what it does, so stick around. First off, I will say there's a lot of hacks and modifications and things that this radio will do. And I'm going to show you one of them today because I am a uh, fan of the 220 megahertz band, 1.25 meters. We're going to show you how to unlock 220 on this radio today. But if you want to find a full list of really great videos that are available for all kinds of stuff this thing will do. In fact, the way I learned to do this was by watching Hayden's video. He has a full playlist here of a bunch of different things that this radio will do. I'm going to go through and probably pick out a few of those to do modifications of my own radio. But um, but today on this video, we're just going to do a modification to uh, let it hit the 220 megahertz band, which I've actually already done. And it does work. And I'm going to key up a repeater and show you. And then we're going to put it on the tiny SA and see what it looks like. I'm afraid to do that. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> we're going to see what it looks like, especially on 220, which is available in the menu. It's not really a hack, but it's just a closed out menu that you don't see. So stick around. This radio here, uh, it has several really cool features on it. So if we're on the top band right there, in fact, I'm going to give you guys a little bit better close up shot here. Let's go here. This is the top band here. And I've got it on 224.54, and we're going to get to that in a minute. You can see right there, the bottom band is selected. And I've hit function AB, which is function number two. It'll change to the top band. So that's a two keystroke to change between top and bottom. I don't know if other versions of firmware, I believe there's version, different versions of firmware for this radio. I don't know if other versions of firmware will fix that or what, but that's what it is. And then to go switch bands, we go to function and the one key, which is band. So that right there goes to the 350 megahertz band. It goes to uh, 446 there, 490. I think that goes all the way up to like five through like 520 or 540. I'm not sure. I haven't gone to the top of that one. Band again, it's going to go down to six meters, 55.25. Okay. It will not transmit there. If I hit that, it's going to say disabled in the menu. So it does not transmit on six meters, at least not yet. I don't know. I believe there's a hack to make it do that. I'm still researching. Function band again is going to take you back up to the aircraft band. And you can see right there where it says AM right uh, below the first number there. It says AF. So it will receive AM on the aircraft band. That's pretty cool. And then uh, function band again is going to take you back to the two meter band. And we're transmitting right there. Now, what you can also do is go to function five and it'll take you to the, the NOAA weather channels. It says NO or N01 right there. And you can just scroll up through the NOAA weather channels. It goes through N010, so 10 of them, 01 through 10. So you got 10 pre-programmed NOAA weather channels in there, which is really cool stuff for uh, weather band monitoring. And then we can just go back to the band button. Actually, to turn it off, you just hit function five again, and it comes out of the NOAA weather. That's how you switch back between bands. Hayden has a video about how to open this thing up on full open transmit from, let's see, what's he say here? 18 megahertz to 13 megahertz unlocked right there. And that's a hack. He calls that a hack. This one right here says 50 to 600 megahertz. That's probably the one I would be more interested in myself. The 221 is the one I looked at. So there's a bunch of different mods here. You can see how <laughs> he's had a heyday with this. He's had a, he's done a really good job. I've watched three or four of these videos and they're all very well done. So uh, you guys go check that out. I will put a link to that in the description below. But today what I did to get to the, well, let me go back to band again. Okay, 224.54. Now here we go right here. Okay, so I keyed up uh, KC5 HWB testing. Got to vertically polarize it. KC5 HWB testing. That's the grapevine, the Dakara repeater in grapevine, 224.54. I monitor this repeater sometimes. So if you're in the North Texas area and you have access to 220, uh, turn on 224.54. Negative offset, uh, PL tone of 110.9. It's a good repeater. See if you can find me on there because I do monitor it when I'm at home. So now what we do is we're going to turn this off and we're going to hold down the top button here and the PTT button at the same time and then turn the power on and it goes into a secret menu. And you can see in this secret menu right here, 350 transmit, which is turned off. It's off and on for that. Uh, the reset is the top one there. 
And then uh, F-Lock, I'm not sure what that does. 200 transmit, I turned that on. It was off before. Uh, 500 transmit is off and 350 EN is on. And screen is on or screen, uh, S-C-R-E-N is on. I'm not sure what that means. Scan something maybe. But I, so I turned 200 on and uh, came out of this menu and it still would not, it still would not transmit. So what I had to do was I had to go into F-Lock, okay? and hit this right here, and it was set to FCC. And of course, the FCC has not approved this radio for the 220 megahertz band, but huh, we're experimenters and we can hack radios. That's part of our Part 97 privileges. You see it has CE right there for Europe, uh, GB for, I, I assume that's Great Britain, uh, 430, 438, and then you just turn it completely off. And that's what I did. I turned it completely off and I enabled, confirm that, and then I turned 200 transmit on, and then once we exit here, it can clearly transmit KC5HWB on the 220 megahertz band. So my question now becomes, how good is it or isn't it on the Tiny SA? So let me set up the Tiny SA here, and we're going to take a look at that. One thing Hayden did say is he said that this antenna that comes with it is kind of garbage, so I would probably get rid of that, and I would probably put a signal stick on this. I'll put a link to signal stick in the description below, and you guys can go check that out. I get asked that question oftentimes, what is your favorite HT antenna? And this, either the signal stick or the smiley antennas, which you can get at bettersaferadio.com. Both of those are very good. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. Get all of your project needs, project goals come to life with professional grade 3D printing, CNC machine printing, board design, board printing, flexible circuit boards, standard circuit boards, double-sided circuit boards, all kinds of good stuff. PCBWay.com. Thank you for supporting this channel and sponsoring this video. Check the link in the description below and be sure to tell them that Ham Radio 2.0 sent you. Okay, so we have our tiny SA here and I'm going to test this thing on t uh, 2 meters, 220, and 440. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to change this to um, B band here. All right, there we go. High power. That's fine. High power is about 5 watts. So what I have done on the tiny SA, which we've done before, I'll go ahead and do it again, is we go into main menu here and we choose measure and we click on harmonic and it makes us set the frequency, which I did this, I had to remind myself to do it, so I've done this, but we'll do it again for the camera. It asks you to do it twice, okay, good. And then we go back into level and EXT gain and we set it to minus 40 times one and that's a 40 dB measurement on the thing. And now I have, so now we're going to transmit into, there we go, this is not looking good. <laughs> so your zero line is basically right here and your negative 40 line is right there. So you can see the emissions there. Those, those, that three, four, and five are actually down. The three's a little high. Uh, the four and five are down pretty much where they should be. So the second one's the one you gotta worry about. Okay, not great, but not terrible either. One spurious emission harmonic on that. So now I'm gonna change it to 224.5. Let's do uh, 223.500 because that's the... It's still going to... Uh, let me turn off the offset. Okay, we got the offset turned off. It's at 223.500, which is the national calling frequency for FM simplex on the 220 megahertz band. I'm going to have to change the frequency in here to 223.500 megahertz. 223.500 megahertz. Okay, and then we're going to go back into um, trace. No, not trace. I always forget where it's at. Level... EXT gain minus 40 times one. So we got our setup there. And while we're going to key up on 223.500, we're going to see how sloppy this is or isn't. We're taking it a second. Actually, this looks pretty good. Actually, it looks like it's not even getting up to zero on the first harmonic, which tells me that it's probably not transmitting a very high power. Usually it's up around zero or 10 dB. It says it's at negative 18.6 dBm right there. But there are no spurious, there are no second, third, fourth, fifth harmonics on this. Move that up into the camera a little bit better. That's not too terrible. That's not too bad. For a radio that wasn't set by the factory to, to um, transmit on um, 220, 1.25 meters, I'd say that's pretty good. All right, let's check out uh, 440. I'm going to put it at like 441.000. Go back in here and set up the tiny SA again. Measure harmonic. megahertz here and trace no not trace why do i keep clicking on trace level ext gain minus 40 times one like that okay and now we're at 
Yeah, now we're at 441.0. That's what we've set the let it do its thing after keying it up for a few minutes. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's got an eighth harmonic way up here on like 2.955 gigahertz. Way up there. And it's about negative 30. But there's no spray of submissions down here. Okay. And that one's just over zero, just over zero dB, which is where it basically should be. So it's a little bit better signal than the uh, than the 220 signal was. But I'm not sure exactly what that means, this measurement of the first harmonic, where the frequency should be, if it's above, too far above or too far below the zero. I'm not sure exactly what that means. So I'm gonna have to do some research on that and see. Overall, not too bad. Um, very much like that Radtel RT490 that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. Kind of ugly on two meters, looked really good on 220 and on 440. And for a radio that doesn't come pre-programmed with the 220 band, in fact, now that I think about it, this antenna right here is probably not very good to transmit on 220 with because a lot of these tri-band radios they'll come with two antennas they come with a dual band two meter 440 antenna and they come with a third a second antenna that's a single band 220 antenna so i wonder if that would do any better now for the purpose of this test on the tiny sa it doesn't matter i did not have the antenna on the radio i had the radio plugged into the tiny sa so it doesn't matter what antenna i use as far as the tiny sa test goes someone made a comment like that in one of my videos, they put they they commented and they said, well, if you trade it out from that junkie antenna, you get better results than the tiny SA. And I'm like, what? That, that doesn't make any sense. But uh, everybody's got an opinion. Anyway, so what other videos would you guys like to see? And like I said, Hayden's got a bunch of them. And there's two or three of his videos that caught my eye. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to go try that. I'm going to have to figure out what that is. And he's got a video that says, do not buy the upgraded version. This is a mistake to buy this one. He likes this one a lot better. I have not watched that video yet, so I'm going to go ask him what he's talking about, what he means by that. Probably do another video uh, testing out this uh, 6K, UV 6K, or K6, whichever one it is. Let me know what you guys think about this radio. Let me know if you have one, what other modifications you would like to see me do on video 73.